All right, I'm making videos about this chart. Open up. Open brother. <laughs> What's going on? Man. So, week's looking horrible. There's a lot more zeros to go up here. Saturday was like pretty much all zeros, almost, except for not smoking. Oh, six hours of sleep. Meditation I always get. But, see, something happened. Up here, I always used to have gluten-free and dairy-free, right? I shifted it. I shifted it to my eating window and sleep by 10. See how bad that is? And it's it's zero. It's zero here the whole way through. I don't even want to see what my score is, but I'm going to see it soon. Reading a book, harder to read a book. Why? Because I kept going to sleep. I kept uh, staying up too late, waking up too late in order to read my book in the morning. But it's so funny what a simple shift in this and this did. Because gluten-free, I always get the gluten-free, dairy-free, easy. That would be ones all across the board. I also changed taking care of my body to exercise. And as soon as I did that, it exposed me a little bit. So now it's in the exercise realm, zero, one, zero, zero. See what I mean? I shifted it a little bit and it started exposing all the bullshit that I've been actually doing. Oh, man. This is a rough one. It's rough to see. But this is why I make the chart, because the data is right in my face. So it's not... If I went around without this chart, I'd be like, eh, well, you know, I kind of had an okay... You know, it wasn't that bad of a week. But with this, I literally can see I'm having a bad week. I've done bad work. I have not accomplished the things that I'm supposed to be accomplishing. It's right there in my face. <sighs> so, what do I do? What do I do? That's the next thing I have to figure out. Now that I have the data, now that I can see where I'm lacking, now that I can see that these two things, these three things, are now triggering my whole week to be a bunch of bullshit, now I have to actually start working around it. Working around it, strengthening myself in some kind of way, figuring out something I can do. So what did I end up doing? So for a sleep by 10, I got a little laptop bed that I'm gonna start using. Got a laptop bed that I'm gonna start using. So now I'm gonna go upstairs at like eight o'clock and I'm just gonna have my laptop, have all my shit out still. I'm not gonna go to sleep at eight o'clock, but at least I'm in bed. I'm closer to being in bed than I am when I'm just sitting on the couch. You know what I mean? So annoying, I stopped the video by accident. But yeah, I'm closer to closer to being in bed when I'm upstairs in my bed than I am when I'm on the couch, right? So that's one step there. Then when it comes to the eating window, I'm switching again. When it comes to the eating window, 10 a.m. to 7, that's just me having to buckle down. I messed up a couple days. I think one of the days I, uh, I had dinner with my wife. We didn't get to the restaurant until 7, which I could easily go easy on myself, but that's not what the chart's about. The chart's not about, well, you can go easy on yourself here and there. The chart's just about, did you do it or not? Is it a 1 or is it a 0? So that day was a 0. Yesterday, definitely a 0. Today, definitely a 0 as well, because I'm going to be straight up with you. I want some yogurt. And I'm going to do it. Just lack of discipline there. I'll admit it, but I'm still going to do it. Not a lot of yogurt. I could go easy on myself, but again, that's not what the chart's about. It's did I do it or did I not do it? <sighs> and then when it comes to exercise, well, if I could get asleep by 10, I could get up by 4 and execute on my exercise every single fucking day. But I'm not doing this. So then this exercise suffers, right? So it's like, as much as it's a shitty week, I'm still grateful for it because it's like, I know exactly what the problems are. And the only reason I know what the problems are is because I have the chart in front of me. So I'm not telling anybody to make this chart, but for me, it's, uh, it's helping. Obviously, it's not helping me accomplish the things, but it's helping me see that there's things that I need to accomplish. <sighs> and also, take a walk. I usually always take a walk. I miss those days. Why? Because I didn't get asleep by 10. What happens? Wake up late. Don't have time for the walk. Don't have time for exercise. Don't have time for reading a book. So now I see 
that me being asleep by 10 is not about being asleep by 10. It's about me having the time in the morning to exercise, to read, and to take a walk. And those things are important to me, important to my mental health. So this week I've been having a hard week, been feeling a little off, a little depressed here and there. Why? Probably because I'm fucking around on my sleep, which makes it so I can't exercise, not getting endorphins, which then I can't take a walk, which helps me clear my head every morning. It's all right there. So time for me to improve. I'll do that day by day, as I always do, a little deeper every single day into improvement. But yeah, just figured I'd share that. And you know what? I know I said I'm not telling anybody to make this chart, but make this fucking chart. Because I know there's a bunch, there's at least 10, there's at least 10 things you got going on or that you could have going on so you can improve yourself. For me, those are my 10 things and they'll change again soon. But yeah, make this chart, do it. You have some shit that you have to get done that you're not getting done. And if you think you don't, make the fucking chart. I bet you'll see different. Peace.